Hey folks, today is January the 6th. It's currently about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Adjumat EA. Let me get over here to it. And this is going to be week number 93 of live testing on this EA. And last week, if you guys recall, we earned 0.71%. The week before that, 1.26%. And the week before that, we lost 5.39%. All right, let's go ahead and see what happened this week. All right, so as we can see here, equity curve is definitely pointing in the right direction. Let's go ahead and jump in. I know at one point this week, around the middle of the week, we actually had like $500. I think it was between five and $700 in drawdown. And I know we were able to get rid of quite a lot of that. We'll see when we get into the VPS. But we can see this week we actually earned 2.37%. And that equates to $200. So we had a very good week actually $140 more than what we earned last week. So definitely a wonderful week of trading for the Adjumat EA. As we can see here, first month of the year, I think this is the first week of the year. Yep. So far for the year, we're up 2.37%, or I should say for the month, we're up 2.37%. So we'll see, uh, looks like we got three and a half weeks to go. So we'll see uh, what January brings us with the Adjumat EA. All right, let's go ahead and check out the news for the week. So we can see here, nothing on Monday, nothing on Tuesday. Wednesday, we had ISM Manufacturing PMI, FOMC Meeting Minutes. Thursday, we had ADP Non-Farm Employment Change. Friday, Non-Farm Payroll, and also Canadian Unemployment Rate and Change, as we can see here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the VPS, see what happened. As we can see here, we went from having, like I said, it was at least $700 in drawdown. But I, I know at one point when I checked, it was over $500. And then at another point, I saw that the drawdown was up a bit more than that. So I think it, at its highest, it was like $700 this week. And as you can see right now, drawdown is only $92.57. So Adjumat definitely managed things well. And you can see our balance at present is $8,661. Let's go ahead and see exactly what happened this week. First day of the month, excuse me, first day of the week is the second. So let's scroll down here. It looks like we got started on the third right here, closing things out. And let's look for those big losers. So we got a four trade group right here. And we can see that this $10.28 win kept us in profit on that one. String a little uh, small losses in this for trade group and the $18.36 win kept us in profit on that one. Let's keep scrolling down to see if there are any larger losses. What we can see here is quite a few nice string of winning trades, a few small losses, but overall more wins than losers. Here's a nice $18 win and that's in a for trade group. Lots of small wins. I'm not really okay. So this right here is what really pushed us over the edge. Let's scroll down and see how many trades were in this group. And give me one second. Let me pull this back up. All right. There it is. And we can come up here and we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades in this group. And as we can see here, this $172 win is what kept us in the profit in this group of trades here. And it looks like we were able to close out the week with a string of small wins and one small loser. So overall, a phenomenal week of trading. This was non-farm payroll day. And let me see here. I'm going to assume, no, I would assume that this spike up right here was uh, it, but that was at 1500 And I know non-farm payroll comes out at half of the hour, so it's something 30. I know the, the time is different with this, so I'm not sure what time it actually is. It might have been right here. This looks like 1330 so maybe this was non-farm payroll, this uh, whipsaw action that we got right here before I finally decided to start pushing up. So that might have been non-farm payroll right there. But either way, regardless of which way the market moved, we can see that the Adjumat EA was able to uh, manage things for us, got us out with a nice profit for the week, and got us out of uh, a lot of the drawdown that we were holding on. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a step back here. And we'll see how you guys did this week. All right, let's check out Kelvin's live account. All right, looks like Kelvin did about the same as me, made 2.42% or $240. We can see there. And we'll check out Khalid's demo account. Khalid is up 4.78%. Very nice indeed, or $255. Let's check out Alex's live account. Alex did 2.25%, and he's up 2.25% for the month. And again, very small drawdown going into the weekend, so it looks like uh, things went similarly to him as they did uh, for me and a few other people. And this individual does have open trades, 111. And let me see here, open trades, 86. So yeah, drawdown definitely... And we can see that right here as well. It was down here before getting uh before coming back up to that red line there. So everybody had a phenomenal week, which is obviously a great start to the new year. Hopefully that will continue. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the video here. Refresh the page. All right. BD. I'm interested in starting with Adjumat this year, but I would like to trade EURUSD. Does Alex use a specific set of parameters or settings for the result he acquired? Please let me know. Thank you. Um, Alex, if you don't mind, let this individual know, or either you can uh, email me and let me know, and I'll uh, respond to this, because I'm not sure exactly what his settings are. All right. Keith Power said, Happy New Year's. Looking forward to seeing your updates in 2023. Yes, indeed. I can't wait to start putting them out myself. Thank you. Thank you, as always, for the comments. So if you guys want to test out the Adjumat EA, you guys can, if you choose to, use the link below to help support the channel. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can ask uh, in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get those answered for you. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on the next update. Take care, folks.